Welcome back everybody. Today we have another money making method and for today's money making method you don't have um, any requirements or anything like that. All you need to do is buy leaping sturgeons and they are fairly cheap. So let's just throw in a leaping sturgeon, 107. I bought them at 113 GP each and I have 1k of them in the bank right now. And what we're going to be doing is cutting them open and looking for caviar and fish offcuts. Now you won't get one every single time. However, there is a chance you will get one. So let's just add this caviar and fish off cuts and then the looping sturgeon. Now, 254 GP for caviar and 33 for fish off cuts. And of course, the looping sturgeon is only 107 GP. You could see where the money is. You could see how we're making money off of this. And it is profitable. I have already checked this. You do get a majority of caviar versus not getting any from the looping sturgeons. Well, let's just get into the money making method. This is all we're going to be doing. Not much to it. I'd like to add that you only want to take 25 out at a time since you do get fish offcuts, which are stackable, and then you get the caviar, which are not, which will replace the space of a leaping sturgeon. However, you do not get caviar every single time. There's a chance, and sometimes you won't get caviar, and that's the potential profit made here versus not potential. And there is no automation with this, so it is a little bit click intensive. But yeah, these of course won't be added to the overall um, profits made. But let's get into it. Now that's pretty much everything that you need to know about the method. And let's just get, uh, let's get through it. Alright, so we were not able to do that for an actual 20 minutes. Um, there just wasn't enough that I bought. I bought 1k, and we, you could do them surprisingly much quicker than I actually expected. So we used 765 out of the thousand and we actually got 647 caviar, so basically 650. But in that we got an 84.6% success rate with cutting these. And I did find with some experimenting that um, it is based on your cooking level, since you do get cooking XP for this. And it is based on your cooking level. If the higher your cooking level, the more, um, the better the chance that you get caviar from cutting open a leaf being sturgeon. But yeah, this is our results from 10 minutes. And so I suppose now all we have left to do is to sell these off. The fish off cuts, like I said, you could just literally drop them. There were, oh wow. Okay, maybe they're not worth nothing. I really thought they were, but I suppose not. So, the caviar, 200, I don't think we could actually get that price. Let's just drop that down a little bit and collect and hope for the best. So, 232k. Wowee. All right, that's, that's pretty damn decent, not gonna lie. All right, so the final results are in, final profits and everything like that. So we spent 86k on the 765 leaping sturgeons that we used in the process of this. We got 232k in sales, which comes out to 146k in profit for that 10 minutes that we did. And then we have 875k an hour for this money making method. That is insane. I did not expect it to be that good of a money making method, but uh, guess what? Now it's ruined. So this. What we got is an 84.6% success rate per per um, leaping salmon, leaping sturgeon, sorry, in that 10 minutes. And we got 11.4, no, 11.5k um, XP in that 10 minutes as well. So that comes out to, might as well say, 69k XP for cooking an hour. So that's, that's pretty damn good. But yeah, hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you didn't, um, drop a dislike, drop a like, tell me, tell me how terrible I am for ruining your money making method, all that good stuff. And um, I know a couple people out there want to see me like do other videos, like other games, different stuff in RuneScape. So if you if you have any suggestions like that, I'd love to hear them. I'll respond to every comment in the comments down below. And hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good day.